Hi hey everyone, today we'll be having a look at a CA15000 Players Edition. Let's take a look. Okay, this bat comes to us all the way from Pakistan. A guy called Ajdal has sent this through. And what we have here is a CA plus 1500 with seven stars. It's still in its original wrapping. You can see the case here. So you can see here all the original stickers on it. Black and red stickers. Red rubber grip. A little bit different rubber to what I'm used to. This is an authentic one. Now you can see the holographic sticker there. Anyway, we're going to take the wrapping off. Roughly around 550 delivered. So it pays to have somebody in Pakistan who can send you bats. So you can see here immediately very very minimal concaving probably two millimeters all the way through it's got that distinctive hard sharp edge not no real attempt to bone it so that's going to give it an exaggerated edge size so you can see there it's 40 mil and on this side 40 mil as well so that's a good sign down here at the toe with that spine running all the way through the toe you can see it gets quite thick in the center there and it's quite thick out towards the edges and it's also got very thick shoulders 18 millimeters now I'm going to bring the gauge in generally these CA bats all seem to be a very much a similar sort of shape and we'll just see if that passes through the gauge and it's just found a tiny little bit of resistance right there. Stickers themselves have this holographic effect going all the way through. There's embossing there. It's got the sticker on it that I guess you could use to scratch off and see whether or not it's an authentic bat on the shoulder. We will do a measurement on that spine height. Peaks pretty much in a mid-high position. Very typical of Pakistani bats. I think they obviously get a fair bit of pace, so the, the new ball is coming through quite fast, so they need that bat speed, and the ball's coming on a lot higher, but then as the, bat, the ball dies, obviously it becomes an issue where they need the, a lot more power down here, so that's why they have that spine running all the way down through to the toe. Grains are stunning. You got a little hint of heartwood coming down the left hander's outside edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Reasonably even. And the colour is nice. You can see the grains on the back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that eleventh. So it's starting to go in that low position, mid-low, gets a lot better in that high mid position to mid-high and even in a high position it's going very well up top. You can see that ping there. It's starting to peter out towards the bottom. It's really going from that mid-low all the way up to a high position, to be honest. So with all those specs, 67mm spine, 40mm edges, thick toe, thick shoulders, it says 2.6 on the shoulder. Often that means 2.6 pounds. Yeah, it's pretty close. 2.76 stressed. So once this is scuffed, this will be dead on 2.8, I would say. Um, yeah, now this bat is actually with me for knocking. I've actually agreed to do this one. So you're going to get a post knock on this one, even though I said I wouldn't do them anymore. All right, so I've finished knocking in the CA15000 Players Edition. And I can talk about some things that I found. Uh, firstly, the first thing you will notice, there's no toe guard anymore. 
this thing peels straight off like a band-aid. So what I've done is a shoe goo toe guard. And I might just add a little bit more just to build that up a little bit more. It's got a scuff sheet applied up until here. Edge tape over the scuff sheet this time. I've left the original stickers on here. One thing I will say about knocking the bat, generally it's, it's a very soft press. Uh, it's a soft piece of willow too. The stickers themselves, this embossing, they, it's some sort of an acrylic top coat that just creates the thickness. So when I was actually having to knock this area here in, because the ball was obviously going to be hitting around this area, it just uh, cracks and uh, just chips away. So that's all gone from the plus here the, and the player's edition, but I haven't knocked anywhere around the splice, so it's still in this area. And obviously you can see it up there. So that's just one thing about stickers. I think the quality of them as far as embossing could be improved. I have seen other bats manufactured in Pakistan that have this feature. It's just a manufacturing issue that just needs to be sorted out. Maybe somebody over there can establish high quality embossing uh, on stickers and uh, it would do uh, the top brands, particularly with their top willow, a uh, world of good to have really good quality stickers on them. As far as the stickers go, nothing peeled off or anything like that. There was no delaminating like we've seen on other stickers, but the chipping away is something I saw on the Isans as well. With the Shugu on, you can see those grains running almost dead straight through the toe, but they're nice and even, and they're real. There was some general scratching up here. It looked like it was caused in manufacture, so I've just sanded that off. You can see little remnants of it there. Some of these things only sort of get exposed once you oil the bat. The bat has been properly boned on the edges now and knocked. And we will firstly I'll weigh it. And you'll see here the weight with the shoe goo. And the edge tape. And the, the scuff sheet is now 279. Uh, before the scuff sheet and edge tape went on, it was 274. I did find that it lost a little bit of weight after oiling. But yeah, in general, let's listen to the back now. Down this area, super soft. Generally to do with the bowing technique. So this area got a real heavy working over. The whole face did, but um, particularly down here. So you'll hear that it'll be a bit harder. But I'm sure that with this square toe situation, CAs must have a bit of uh, issues with broken toes and stuff like that. All right, let's knock it up and hear what it sounds like. So you can hear it going there. Coming into the meat of the bat now. Still a nice and even sound. Admittedly, these stickers are low, but that's still really nice. Right there is your main sweet spot there. With that spine extending down into the toe, you're still going to get some action as you lead down to the toe. I expect the toe will open up with play, but that is a fairly substantial knock-in. For this bat, quite uh, severe depression down around here, uh, but all in all, I'm generally happy with how it's turned out. Handle grip quality? Well, I can tell you from experience that that grip quality is quite abrasive and it's caused me a nice blister on the hand, holding the bat and knocking it. So, we'll turn the camera around and we'll bounce the balls on it. Alright, so we'll start off immediately with the four piece and you can see that pinging really nicely so I mean it is a quality bit of timber not just the looks but the general responsiveness I think it will get better with playing sometimes with these really 
uh, soft press bats, they feel really good bouncing a ball off them, but in the nets they feel really spongy. So I think that that will just come good as it's played in. That's the jukes on it now. And you can hear that bubbly sound. Right up there in that mid to mid high position. Even down low with that spine running into the toe. Feels beautiful. So, yeah, CA 15,000 plus players edition. This one is a gun bat. And 279, probably feels 27 and a half. So it feels still a little bit lighter than its weight. Build up the shoe go a little bit more. And yeah, if you added a extra grip to it, I reckon it would just begin to feel mm, maybe a 29 if you added a grip, or 29 and a half, it would still feel like a 29 bat. So, or two eight and a half bats, so I'm not sure. Sometimes adding more down here doesn't necessarily give it a lot of pickup, it just gives you a thicker feel. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think that really needs to be much thicker. Maybe a chevron underneath. If you put anything over the top of that grip, it's just going to tear it to bits like it did my hand. So, that is it. Some things to improve, sticker quality and obviously how to put on a toe guard and let it stay there, but most toe guards fall off guys. And I do recommend putting scuff sheet on any bat, modern mats that you use, because they're just so dry, they do crack early. So I think this makes some runs for somebody. Very nice.